Hi, my name's Mark from Glint, and you may have noticed that we've updated the app recently. So I'm going to take a little bit of time this morning, and I'm going to show you around the app and some of its features. So I'm going to start by tapping on the icon, and then logging in. And you can see that we've landed on the dashboard. And the dashboard consists of three drawers. We have the card drawer, beneath that is the balances drawer, and then the top stories. So let's start with the card. You can see here, this is the new design of the card. Beneath that is the freeze icon, the pin reminder, and the wallet source. If we tap on the wallet source, we can see that the card is connected to my gold wallet, but I can also change it to my dollar wallet. And beneath that is the map, and this shows you where the gold is held in the Brinks vault in Switzerland. Next, let's have a look at the balances. You can see here that we have a buy gold button at the top. If I tap on that, this is a quick way to buy gold. So I can choose my source. In this instance, it's connected to my Visa card, but I can also choose another source card or I can choose my dollar wallet. So I'm gonna choose my dollar wallet, save and continue. Then I can choose the amount of gold that I'd like to buy. So I'm going to put in $1,000. This is the quantity that I will get and the rate that I'm buying it at. Then I can hit review and that lets me review the details and then I can confirm the purchase. And in this instance, I've bought 15.4 grams of gold. And you can see that topping up. So then beneath this balance, we have our gold wallet and our USD wallet. And you can see here a little icon of the card on the gold wallet, which reminds me that that is the source that the card is attached to. If I tap on the gold wallet, you can see that we have the amount of gold that we're holding, the chart and all the transactions beneath it. The chart has a few nice features. It lets us review the price of gold over a day, a week, a month, a year, two years, five years. And if I hold at any point on that graph, you'll see that I can get a spot price of what the price of gold was on that day. In addition, if I have hold down two fingers, I can get the spread of whether the gold went up or down and the percentage between two dates. Okay, let's go back to the top of the drawer and look in the dollar wallet. So in the dollar wallet here, I can see the total amount of dollars that I'm holding. You can see here, in addition, I can fund, send or withdraw cash from this wallet. Finally, let's have a look at the stories drawer. So the stories is a list of all our latest stories and you can tap on any one of these and you can read the article in full. I'm just gonna show you one last thing. If I tap on my profile picture at the top, you can see in the profile section all the things you'd expect to find, like customer support. I'm also going to show you how to export statements. So if I tap on the statements, and then I can choose a start date. In this instance, I'll pick March and an end date, and then I can export as a CSV file or a PDF. So if I tap on PDF, I then get the share sheet, which lets, lets me send it by email or by message or by airdrop. One last thing I'd like to show you, and that is how to increase the security of your app. So if you tap on privacy and security, you can see that we have face ID here. Most modern phones have face ID or they have fingerprint biometrics. So if I turn on face ID, this now uses the face ID of the phone to unlock the app, which saves me having to type in the pin code every time I open the app. That was a little walk around of the app today. I hope you found it useful. If you have any feedback, you can send it to feedback at glimpay.com. We'd love to hear any suggestions or comments that you may have. If you have any need to contact a customer support, then you can find details of that within the app on the website, and I'll also put the details at the end of this video.